week's midweek meaningful conversation we are here to talk about change oh we love it or hate it well we're gonna find out we're gonna find out so if you are joining us for the very first time welcome we are three youtube vloggers myself lisa from a life full of meaning paul from narrowboat life unlocked and maxine from never too late our journey and essentially we're narrowboat vloggers although paul is the only one on a boat at this time and but we don't sort of get together midweek to talk about narrow boats or boating life we we just like to pick a topic and unravel it now this is not the place to come to if you're looking for perfect answers or curated sound bites we have none of those things but we just unpick a topic and and see what we find out so that is us that is who we are if you are returning watching live or later then welcome thank you for coming back and this is really an interactive pro process because we love your chat as we go along so yeah welcome welcome before we start talking about change let us talk about our week so far how has things been for you paul and you are literally riding out storm in your boat so how's things going <laughs> Yeah, I'll need to change my headphones or my earplugs because it's like being out at sea. The boat's creaking, the ropes are creaking, we're next really? to a deck in. Oh, really? And it sort of, we went to bed and it was okay. And then as the night went on, the wind got stronger. But it, it's yeah, quite, yeah. somebody was asking about this in the week on one of the narrowboat forums. What do you do about creaking ropes and fenders? Yeah, and they yeah. said, we've got to enjoy that sound and find it relaxing and i quite do now i quite do oh, you know i do yeah. quite enjoy listening to the fenders creaking and the because i think yeah. oh you know we're on a boat and we're safe and yeah. it's nice and warm yeah yeah enjoy it yeah yeah i loved it i loved it when we were on nutshell i loved windy weather i love that sort of buffering that you get when yeah. you're in bed especially and everything's creaking and you're like, I'm yeah. warm i'm toasty i'm yeah. safe and and all this weather's happening around yeah. us i i and I it's a nice it reminder, too. isn't it, that you're living on a boat? Yeah. Sometimes you just forget. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you do. Maxine, what about your week? How's it going? It, we've been over to the boat to see how she's getting on, and we're nearly there, um, which is great. Mm. And we've just done lots and lots of walking because we're in the Peak District at the moment, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Very muddy. I went to uh, flying on one of the occasions when so it got very dirty. No <laughs> way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> But with, yeah, was the video camera was. rolling, Maxine? Sorry? Was the video camera rolling? <laughs> no, luckily. Because <laughs> it would have been the sight. <laughs> it, it would have been fantastic. So, like what I do when 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 I'm vlogging and something happens, I'm like, Glenn, can you do that again? That's it. That's <laughs> can you fall over again? <laughs> I was covered in mud. <laughs> Oh man, oh but man. Thing. But but being between, you know, having essentially no no place to call home, <laughs> and, and you're okay with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just enjoying yeah. it. Just I've got my, I've got a few bits around us, obviously, because we've brought stuff with us yeah. to the house and everything. So yeah, uh, just, it's just a different house and just mm -hmm. doing just how we enjoy day to day things, really. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Well. For me this week, well, it's been Valentine's Day, which is a day for many people where they just enjoy the day. No, not for us. It's It was a busy day delivering flowers. It always is. It's it's all hands to deck. Naomi was helping in the shop. Beth was helping in the shop. Me and Glenn were out delivering. It was go, go, go. So, um yeah, and I got home. Do you know what? I got home on Monday night after delivering all these bouquets of joy to people, which is the bit I like, actually. And uh, I came home and I looked at my vase of flowers that I've had for a couple of weeks and I had dead flowers. And I was like, Glenn, <laughs> uh, we've just delivered all these flowers and I come home to dead ones. No, he rectified that. He popped back down the oh. shop and came back with some flowers. So, <laughs> good, yeah, good. that was... Well that was that was good. When Glenn gives me flowers, I just always like think, thanks, Deb. <laughs> you know. <so. laughs> anyway, anyway, so that is the week. 
lots of people popping in to say hello so hello to you all i'm still restricted with my glasses i can't see clearly so paul and maxine are keeping an eye on the chat for any great comments but welcome everybody I've just seen actually Deb said Glenn's a keeper. He certainly is. I haven't let him go 30 odd years and I, he is a keeper. Bless him. So, yeah, but I keep telling Glenn he dropped on with you, Lisa. <laughs> 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 but I also keep telling Anthony he dropped on with me. It's just like a running gag now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lucky. That's what they are. They're lucky, aren't they, Paul? <laughs> lucky to have us. Right. So, change. Love it or hate it. Now, I've got a feeling what Maxine and Paul are going to say, because we're very similar. But if you're watching in the comments, just tell us, love it or hate it, change. Maxine, love it or hate it? I love it. Yeah, love absolutely. It. I, thought, I thought you was going to say that. Paul? Yeah, love it. Yeah, I think that's why I love New Year's Eve, because you think it's a new year, yeah. it's time for a change. So, yeah, yeah. I love it. I am exactly the same i love change the bigger the better yeah. if someone would say to me pack your bags you're leaving you're going around the world you're gonna start a new life i'll be like yeah i'm off um yeah. and, well i wouldn't actually i'd be quite sad about <laughs> the kids but you know um but i was thinking about it and i think is it a new start that we like because I love a new week I love a new month and I certainly love a new year it's that potential mm. that is ahead of us yes. so it, it, do you feel the same thing yeah. Paul yeah Maxine, now, yeah you know you know I love a new you know I love a good quote yeah yeah <laughs> so I, got, I got two for this today so one of them the price of doing the same old thing is far higher than the price of change which I thought was very good. Mm -hmm. That's from Bill yeah. Clinton, would you believe? Oh, and the oh. other one that is from George Lichtenberg is, I cannot yeah. say whether things will get better if we change. What I can say is it they must they must change if they are to get better. Wow. Wow. And, and yeah. also, it you know, is you know, I think change is inevitable, isn't it? So yes. so that thing of trying to keep things the same is um you know, is exhausting. Let me just have a quick look to see whether people are like us, whether they love it. So, uh, Carol, love it and hate it sometimes. Yeah, it yeah. could be a double-edged sword. Yeah. Um, uh, UK to Thailand. Yes, I love change and the next chapter in life. Yeah. Um, Vicky, uh, that she loves it. That's uh, that's why she bought a boat. Um, new back garden when cruising. Yeah. Jackie, love a positive change. And Deb says uh, she loves it. So, yeah, people do like it. Oh. No one doesn't. Yeah. Linda, I'm the odd one out. I don't like change oh. at all. And Carol, nothing stays the same. Ah, oh. I always tell when we're on a good subject. I get so excited, my glasses steam up. I get like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, I can always tell because I stop like as, as if I need any more like difficulty seeing. So, so what do you love about change? Was the next question, but I think we've we've covered that. It's yeah. the the new start, the potential. Do you think the potential? Yes. For, yeah. So. What is it about change that can make it feel so uncomfortable? It's human nature, isn't it, to resist change. Um, mm. We all sort of get comfortable doing the same thing. Even if it's a bad habit, we can get comfortable mm. doing that and find it difficult to make a change. And you remember years ago, I was trying to remember whether it was the telephone boxes. I think it was yeah. the telephone boxes. They were going to change the colours of them and there was so much uproar because people like that similarity nice. and that same yeah. thing that they've all grown used to and maybe it's yeah. a comfort thing isn't it yeah well yeah. a friend of mine used to say it's called a comfort zone for a reason it's <laughs> comfortable why would you want to leave it and, and i'd think yeah yeah there there is a point there there is a point there but yeah i think i think it may be the unknown yeah. the unknown yeah. of, of change what do you think maxine yeah i think it's something it, it, it can be daunting so you just because you don't know what 
on the other side, do you? You know you've got your comfortable mm -hmm. life and you're doing everything in the same, same way, yeah. way all the time. So when you do something that's changed, you've got no idea what it's going to be, your life's going to be like, and you're just hoping that it's the right decision. And if not, you have to do another change. But it's uh, it's the daunting side of things, I think, because you're just yeah. not 100% what it's going to be like. I think that's why it's so amazing. We love living on a narrow boat because there is so much change. But actually thinking about it, when you're more somewhere and you love the countryside and you get to know the village and you get to know people, you don't want to move. And again, it's, no. it's getting that into that habit, isn't it, of your comfort zone. And then there are times when I think, oh, I really don't want to move. I love it here. But then you move and it's even nicer. The countryside's nicer. The village is nicer. The people are still nice. And you know, it, it's just such a good example living on an Arab boat, I think, that change is every week or every two weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely, it. absolutely. I do think that there's a big difference between big changes and little changes. Yeah. And actually, I think bigger changes are easier yeah. than smaller <laughs> changes. Do, yeah. do, you, do you see the same? Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, like if someone, as I said, if someone said, oh, you know, massive change here, I'd be like, yeah, so we'll go for it. But it's those little changes that are just so difficult. Like, I've got echo again. Is it, have you got echo as well? We can just hear it from you, Lisa. <laughs> it's it's like bad. my voice amplified. It's the worst. Like you're the amphitheatre. Yeah, it's. I think those smaller changes are harder. If we look at like lifestyle changes, I mean, how many of us know changes that we want to make in in our, our lifestyle and and we don't do them? You know, mm. even as simple as I'd, I'd say, if you drive to the supermarket or a car park that you go to often how often do you park in the same area of that car park you do yeah it's, that's yeah. that's like unconscious habits and yeah. to change that is it feels odd even yeah. if it's you know like parking in a different area of the car park but you automatically go into the same yeah. area why does it feel so odd to park in a different park do you, does yeah. that make yeah. sense that's that just me I say it's like a supermarket when it has a reef shuffle and everything. So you know where everything is in the super yeah. supermarket you go to, and then they have a change round and you go in and you can't find anything. And it just it, well, it drives me absolutely yeah, it mad. Drives me mad. Oh, yeah. it does. <laughs> and yeah. I know why they do it, but it's still oh, it's nothing so annoying. So that's a little change, but it yeah. Well, fun. I challenge anyone to go around Asda in Burnley and find anything because it's just so <laughs> odd. <laughs> like you've got to go out the shop to buy your cards almost and then you've got to go around it's just really hot and then it's, thing, it's, you know they put the thing on the oh, so i'm going on now where they put no, the no, thing over the aisle Let where it will say uh, chopped tomatoes they're not in the yeah. aisle i've walked up and down it five times <laughs> oh but yeah going back to what you said lisa it's true yeah. we go the same thing you go into a restaurant or a cafe you always go to this you want to the same yeah. table don't you it's same. weird so and, and how often is there just one or two things that you have on the menu you go for the same you know yeah. either the same dish or something similar yeah. Yeah. the the whole time it reminds me of an experiment we did well i made glenn do it i was just you know <laughs> like when i come up with all these good ideas this is way before we sold the house and and um i realized that life tends to get smaller unless you're changing it because you do the same things over and over and over again and there's part of you that thinks well actually i know i like that if we go back to a menu i know i like that so that's what i'm having but it made me think that our life was getting smaller and smaller and i thought if we just keep going on this trajectory by the time we get older 
like our life is going to be really small so i started something which i call do something different.com right oh, wow. and basically whatever it was like a little catchphrase so whenever i found ourselves doing something the same way i'd be like do something different.com so if we went to restaurants we deliberately pick stuff we wouldn't have or we deliberately parked in different areas of a car park or went somewhere different and I only remembered that when I started to think about change and and that I was like we did that for quite a long time and it was really fun yeah. so I think I'm, I, I'm I might let Glenn know that we're going back to that it'll be chuffed it's it really a really good idea that. isn't it because it's giving yeah. you variety that you wouldn't normally yeah. have no and also it's about being conscious about the things that we do mm -hmm. automatically yeah. mm -hmm. so um carol's just put don't like the physical changes of getting older uh, young at heart but the body won't follow we were actually talking about that exact same thing weren't we just before we came on because i was yeah. saying I, I still can't see out my glasses and it's the one thing that i um that I miss basically mm. is good eyesight. Yeah. Mark, um, let's let's just here we go. Mark's put same menu choice is a thing, especially takeout. Now try something new, each order. And we found some really nice dishes we would never have had before. Yeah. That is brilliant, Mark. I love that. Love That's a great way to incorporate change, isn't it? Um what's uh Deb I like said, that. I had a new job where I turned left out of my driveway and it took me ages not to turn right as I used to go for my old job. Yeah, that's we're so programmed, aren't we? Yeah. We're so and and the reason for that, I think, is is in a way a good thing because our brain can do stuff automatically, can't it? Because you know, there is there's a lot going on. So, you know it's i think in a way some of the stuff we do on automation is um you know a, a good thing so uh deb's put, uh the own unknown can be scary when you've been set in your ways absolutely do you think um it's a fear of well just a fear of the unknown mm. it doesn't have to be a fear of failure just a fear of the unknown it goes back to that uncomfortable feeling yeah i was just gonna say you know when you go on holiday to a new place and you don't know where anything is and you have that sort of it's it's not it's not uncomfortable you wouldn't put a pinpoint it no. as um that it's quite fun exploring trying out yeah. new things but there's that it's unsettled you don't know what's around mm. the corner I quite like that. I like it when you so, go to a hotel and you you first arrive and you don't know where the you know you don't know where the plates are, you don't know where the food is, and you don't yeah, know where yeah, the yeah. people are. And then, and yeah. as the week goes on, you feel like you've been there forever. And then you yeah. see all the new people arriving and they're looking around yeah. like headless chickens. And it yeah, really yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so strange. I love human behaviour. I love yeah. I love just noticing what we do differently. I just want to say hello to Erica from um america she's she's tuned in live today so i just want to say a big hello to her so um what's uh the cameron saying it helps keep your pathways in the brain become more flexible i think um yeah, yeah. and and pog am i saying that right uh, as dale yes. carnegie said feel the fear and do it anyway i always thought that was susan jeffers that said that mm. i loved her book feel the fear and do it anyway and basically that was all about stuff's changing all the time get yeah. on with it she wasn't I that hard was lisa that... That said that <laughs> yeah, I, I think i took it i took it from susan and taken it from dale yeah 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 i love it so there's a big difference between change we choose and change that's forced upon us isn't there that's it's it's got a whole different emotion mm. and i think it reminds me of 
of way back in 1997 when we first bought our house um, that was around the corner from here. And it was like the biggest house we'd bought. And we were young. We had four small children. And Glenn came home one day. It wasn't that long after we'd moved in. And he said, um, I, I've got some terrible news. I was like, what? And he said, I've been made redundant. The whole department, they've made us all redundant. And I turned around. We still talk about this now and said, Glenn, that's fantastic. You can do whatever you want, right? And Glenn was like, no, Lisa, you don't understand. This is this is not a good thing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, Glenn, it is. It is. It's great. Now, it did turn out all right. We were yeah. fine. Um but what I look back when I when I think about that story is how I completely discounted Glenn's fear, yeah. his um, well fear basically. Mm -hmm. You know, we had this big house. He had a young family. Um, you know, all this uncertainty, which was of great worry to him, and yeah. I completely was like, <laughs> yeah, didn't notice it at all. Um, <laughs> But yeah, big change out of our control, or even little change out of our control, is scary. Do you, because we love change, do you notice how it affects others, Maxine? Do you? Yeah, do you I think so. so. I mean, because it doesn't, it doesn't really doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I just embrace mm. it and get on with it, and that's that's mm. life. But I can, I, I have friends and family that struggle with change um and it it is it's unnerving for people and that's the thing and mm. i think you have to well i have to react differently to how i if it's just for me it's fine but you have to think mm. about the other way they are reacting and so you're going with a different direction when you're talking to them about things like that mm. and try and explain to them how it can help and things like that instead of because they're scared they're really scared about it mm. Mm. what about you paul are you good at spotting it in others yeah, I'd like to think so. You know, I think people who are close to you, who have had changes forced upon them, I think I'd like to feel that I know them well enough to spot those changes. Um, I think I'm one of those people that don't handle forced change very well. I think mm. I'm a bit of a control freak and maybe I've got a bit of an OCD and I don't mean that in a light way. I know that I have. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like to plan my day out in my head. And I, I, so, for example, if Anthony's off, and we both got the day off, I think, right, tomorrow we'll get up nice and early, we'll have breakfast, we'll take the dog for a walk, we'll have a drive out to Skipton. And then the minute Anthony says, right, we're going to have a lie in and <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a late breakfast and then we're going to go to the supermarket. And it's like, oh, it does my head oh, in because yeah. I've, I've got this perfect day planned out in my head. And yeah, I don't, I don't like forced change. That's a bad thing, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> no, I, I think I think being aware of of it is all what you know is always the best yeah. place because the minute your brain starts feeling a certain way, you can think, "Oh, hold on, this yeah. is because you know." And I, th I think I think that that example just goes to show how change can unsettle us even yeah. if it's not big change that that yeah. is fearful yeah. just we have this picture in our, our brain of how it should be and when things interrupt that it yeah. it sort of upsets our yeah and yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's um yeah so let's have a look um oh this is Pog going deep. You never make the wrong decision. You only change your destiny. Mm. Yeah. That's actually a, a good point because I I was thinking just this morning, actually, about changes that I'd made in our life, which some may say were unnecessary changes. Mm. And to be honest, I might even agree, you know, change for change is sake. Yeah. So when we were in the Northampton Town Centre Marina. We loved it there. We had great friends. It was really convenient. And when uh, Campbell Wharf was being built in Milton Keynes, I was like, "Let's let's let's change it up. Let's move there." Yeah. And everyone was like, "Oh, why are you moving?" I was like, "I just fancy it, right? <laughs> just just fancy a change." 
And Glenn was like, really? You know, are you sure? I was like, yeah, Glenn, I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be great. And then obviously we moved on from there. But And I was thinking, was that change for change's sake? And then I thought, do you know what? Had we have not moved there, we wouldn't have met Miramar and Liam and Carolyn and Charlie, who have become really good friends. So had we not have moved, change for change's sake, we wouldn't have met those people who are really important to us now. So, So, you know... Is it that there is no bad change? It just yeah. changes, changes yeah. our life in some way. So, yeah. I think all three of us agree that change, because, you know, we've changed from the normal lifestyle by selling our houses and moving yeah, on to yeah. narrow boats. Um, yeah, and also I was thinking about that this morning, that how many times have you moved house over your lifetime? And have you moved house because you want, you're want you not happy where you are? Is it you just want yeah. to change? And, you know, you go to a bigger house and you take on a bigger mortgage. And is that because you want a bigger house and a bigger mortgage? You just want more change? Yeah, I don't know. It's mm. And it, it's another thing as well about people getting to debt as well by changing the car to the latest flashy modern mm. one. And actually, at the end of the day, it's just a ride from A to B. And I think that novelty yeah. soon wears off, doesn't it? When you've got that brand new car. That's how I feel. Mm. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, I mean, there, I think there's there, there's a whole podcast a conversation in that is the cost of change. You yeah. know, what does yeah. change cost us? Mm-hmm. And if it is change just for the bigger, better, brighter, you know, what's the finan- financial um, impact on that? Mark, what's Mark saying? Let's have a look. I have a daily schedule Monday to Friday and need to stick to it or I'm an ogre. I don't like anyone who tries to change it for me, but I live with constant change with technology work and weekend schedules. That's that's really interesting. goes to what you were saying, Paul, is how much do we try and schedule mm. to be in control of some things because there's all these outside influences that are always changing. So to give us that sort of sanity or or to for our brains to be calm, we set ourselves this schedule of the way that we want to want things to be. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. 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 Do we need both as human that beings? Is, yeah. You've got do to have we a need bit of bits of balance, balancing act? I think. Yeah. Do Do we need that sort of level of uncertainty to keep us to keep us sort of on our toes, as well as assurances that our life is safe? Yeah. I think it was Tony Robbins. I I remember from years ago, he said something the same, and it was like we need to know like the the ceiling isn't going to fall down and and the ground is steady under our feet we need to know these things to go out and and to sort of make change so we need to be safe you know from a position of of safety he said it a lot better again i'm paraphrasing <laughs> all, the, all these um motivational gurus if they could hear me now paraphrasing their work they'd be like that's that's not what i said lisa Close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah carol brings up a great point here change through bereavement mm. is very different from change by choice yeah, yeah definitely. I, I can see that and maxine i'm sure yeah. you've mm. got something to say yeah. on that as well it, yeah, it is. I mean, obviously, it just completely changes your life, and you have to start again, yeah. really. Um, and it doesn't matter who you've lost. Um, it, yeah, you, that's a major yeah. change, and it's not one that you wanted, but you have to get on. Well, I my my way was right. I need to deal with this, and I need to change my life. And yeah, mm. so it is. It's a difficult one, Carol. D- yeah, absolutely, and and a change on a whole nother level is oh, it? totally. it's, it's yeah yeah it's, it, it's complete yeah. life change. Mm. Mm. what's deb from wales saying here when you don't actively work on evolving yourself life can become stagnant being open to change learning new skills or working on your inner self can bring about changes you never knew were possible 
possible. That mm. is Very good. spot on. Yeah. yeah, spot on there. And I think, I think maybe that's why um, the three of us love change mm. so much is because we love all that personal development that yeah. i don't even like that term but you yeah. know for the for the want of a better phrase mm. um phrase that personal development that working that discovering mm -hmm. keeps us keeps us fresh self-improvement as well isn't it i did a quick yeah. google search for change and it said tweak yeah. and i thought that's a really good word as well isn't yeah. it it's tweaking things and making things better hopefully that's it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so maybe that that's it. It's tweaking. Uh, I've just seen one from uh, Gordon Jackson. He said, "There's one thing that you would never want to change. That's Glenn. He's one in a million. Oh, he is oh, indeed. Yes. <laughs> he is. Yeah. So let me go back to some of the questions that I wrote. As we get older, do we find we are more inflexible to change? Oh, let's just." Let's, yes. let's see if we can. I, I don't know about you, Maxine. Uh, more inflexible? More or I less think inflexible? So. Oh, 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 I'm trying to hide that. I'm, try, I'm trying no, to get rid of that. I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't what I meant to do. Let's, let's... <laughs> One what second. You... Talk amongst yourselves. That's Talk changing, isn't it? Your... <laughs> that is. Let's, let's do that. Let's... Oh, I can't get rid of it now. Oh man, let, let me let me highlight another comment and get me done. <laughs> That's why I can't be trusted to press any of the buttons. There was, I was like on that, I was like, let's get rid of that. Press it, highlight it. Yeah. Anyway. Where were we? Yeah, you're talking about as we get older, do we find it yeah. more difficult to change? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or easy. I think probably easier. I th because I think life teaches us that as we've made these changes it's been a good hasn't it it's worked out yeah. well for yeah. us really yeah. i think um yeah what do you think maxine yeah i i, I mean i doesn't change to me is it's fun and yeah. i think as you get older you don't you've got to do it now because you don't know how much longer you've got left yeah. either that's the way yeah. i look at it so just you just go with it um but yeah. when i think about when i look at like my grandma i've got she's gone now but what she was like we checked she hated anything mm. if she hadn't got she liked her routine and if somebody mm. threw her out of her routine to change something she didn't like it she couldn't cope as easily so mm. probably at my age i am now i haven't got a problem with it at all mm. um and i think i change more easily now than i did 20 10 20 years ago but i don't know what's mm. going to be in the future if i'm going to get into a situation where i just like my everyday life and keep you know yeah. everything has to be a set way yeah but i don't think so because i know the way i am but uh, yeah i think that's why we got to that age myself and anthony where we thought you know we bought all the houses and we'd done everything we could to the house and we thought oh it did feel like life was getting stagnant and we you know we still had our good friends and family and we just we wanted to do something different we nearly bought a farm would you believe off one of the remote <laughs> islands in scotland so, sorry not a farm we nearly bought a campsite off some remote island yeah, in scotland yeah. And we nearly did that. We nearly bought a campsite in Wales. We just felt like we needed to do something different. Life was getting stagnant for us. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we started to look at narrow boats because we'd done narrow boat day trips. And mm -hmm. yeah, best thing we've ever done so far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, that's it. When I look at older relatives, some that are no longer with us, and that whole thing about oh, their world getting smaller as they get got older by doing the same things um i'm not going to say that makes me fearful of aging it makes me aware it yeah. makes me super aware that i don't want to do that 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 keep on trying new things and doing things differently yeah. is essential to yeah. me I think it keeps your mind fresh as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think it, it keeps us on our toes, yeah. doesn't it? it? It really does because um, it awakens all our senses. As we were saying before, you know, if you're in an area where you don't know the layout of of you know where things are our senses are heightened you know yeah. we you know our smell our sounds we we 
we're looking for clues. All of this happens not on a conscious level. I mean, we're not like walking around like a detective, but you know, it all happens on an unconscious level where we're, yeah. we're, we're trying to get as much data to our brains as possible, aren't mm -hmm. we, about yeah. our surroundings? So here's a question, and I think we've sort of answered it. Could embracing change be the key to living a full life? I think so, yeah. Because if you don't embrace it, it you, it'll eat away at you. And yeah. you, you'll just be. Unhappy. I think you'll be. Well, I would be unhappy. Um, and that's why we're, well, we're doing what we're doing. And I, I, as I say, I think Steve doesn't like change as much. He does now because he's had to. Um, yeah. But I mean, he lived in the same house for thirty-four years. He'd done yeah. very similar things and everything. Yeah. Um, but he has totally. He, well, the last probably 12, 10, 12 years, he has changed, and he enjoys doing the different things now. Um, so mm. yeah, I think we've got to embrace it. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I've, we've got we've got family and people that we know who are getting quite elderly now, and they've, they're so set in the ways, and they don't want to get out of the set routine. They won't even fly abroad, and they've never been abroad. And I think it's such mm. a shame. Isn't it? There's so much out there in the world that you could be enjoying, yeah. and that sense of adventure. Mm. Yeah, I think it's quite mm. sad, really. And I, I feel bad. Yeah. But I, I find not... it quite sad that people haven't made the most of their life and yeah. gone out and made it an adventure. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Alan, Alan brings up a, a good point. Going back to ageing, changing when older seems harder because you're content. Mm. Unfortunately, lifestyle is always changing, so you do need to keep on learning. E.g. completing online forms is tough for us retired folks. Yeah. Alan, we've talked about... Uh, uh, this in when do you remember when we talked about technology, technology. and without a doubt technology is one of the things that is forever changing and it, I think even if you take just even like a couple of years out of um say work the technology is like um has changed beyond recognition you know in such a short space of time and as I said, when we talked about technology, the fear of um, being out of touch with technology yeah. is a big one behind. for me. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. And, and I, I think I think when it comes to technology, we just want stuff to work, don't we? Yes. Right. I remember, I remember it's got to be about seven or eight years ago when Facebook did a massive update they changed like something and i remember people were outraged it was like oh this is terrible this is terrible and you know what we all just sort of got on with it and and accepted the change and and then it became normal and and if we were to look back at screenshots of how you know it used to appear in our, our screens we'd be like well you know that was that that what we've got now works so much better so that yeah. technology we're always gonna see changing and evolving and and it, it's a tricky one technology yeah. even so, after you um, change this the logo it winds me up and i think other people probably <laughs> find the same you can't find it on your phone but it's like and you get used to it <laughs> yeah i know i know i just want to say hello to heidi who's yeah. just joined hello, us heidi. as well so i yeah I, th I think i think as we get older that and we we're content we're happy mm -hmm. with the way things yeah. are i can see how we just want stuff to say the same yeah. but it doesn't yeah. so yeah. so this is the last question I've got written down, actually. And anyone watching, I would love your feedback on this one. So how do we get better at making change part of our daily lives? And I ask this question with no answers. I haven't got I haven't got any of the answers. So I am intrigued to what people will say. Maxine, Paul, have you got any thoughts on this one? I think just doing something different and, you know, I was going back to, going back to what I said earlier about, oh, if, if my daily plan in my head changes, I should embrace mm -hmm. that. 
And you know, yeah. I, I keep listening to a meditation and it says, if somebody asks you something, say yes. And sometimes that can be a bad thing because you may be busy. <laughs> but you know, if it's something like, oh, why do, like yesterday, why don't we have a ride out into Skipton? And I'm like, it's an hour away and, and it's cold and it's like, I'm cozy on the boat. <laughs> but we had such a nice day in Skipton. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's, I don't, yeah, it is that. Um, just looking to do something different. Uh, yeah, ch- I, I, I don't like getting to the, stuck into the same routine every day I find it you can Mm. life can become quite stagnant I keep saying to Anthony let's turn the tv off it's so easy to settle down in the evening and watch tv and before you know it the evening's gone and you're back to work the next day and it's the same routine Mm. um I like to change things up a bit and you know I'm going to take the fuse out of the tv and see how that goes (laughs) (laughs) that's brutal Paul that's brutal Maxine have you got any ideas on how we can make change part of our daily life yeah as, as paul said i think you've got to just mix it each day up i mean I'm, obviously i know you have people have routines that things have to be done but mm-hmm. you can also alternate, alternate them and move them around and just so you can still get everything done in that day but don't keep i think if you do something slightly different each t- each week each day or week mm-hmm. um just so it doesn't become mundane because that's the thing then you mm-hmm. get bored and then yeah. that's when you start getting sad and things like that so if you can just up you know upbeat everything um, and that's yeah. What, so you're not doing it say in a same thing in each single day. Um, just change it around. It's just I mean, change it around. Yeah. Is it is it as simple as parking in a different space or yeah. in a different area of the car park and getting that's comfortable cool. with yeah. uh, with just doing things differently? There's some great things coming in here. Uh, yeah, Deb, and embrace change. Cameron, that's what it's all about. Per- it? Yeah, be be spontaneous. Yeah. Mm. Um, here we go. What's, let's have a look. Uh, Carol decided I'm watching too much YouTube. Carol, there's never too much YouTube. <laughs> all right, there's ne- no, there is, there is, that's for sure. So I'm on a health challenge of 10,000 steps most days. I've taken you with me on the dog walking, uh, with on the dog walking the Cheshire countryside oh that is fab i've got one actually carol's comment has just made me think of it so i've been up in my walking because i've got this marathon to walk in like a month's time oh my goodness so, so- Oh no, oh my goodness, that's what I say daily. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? Um and um my goodness um so i thought right i'm going to download an audio book and to be honest i always go for the same sort of genres if it's me and glenn listening to something on a road trip i'll always go for something that's like uh you know some sort of thriller that i wouldn't normally read on my own but you know well i'll go for that if it's if it's for me it's a particular genre of fiction usually and um or or something self-help right that's what i go with and of course audible they know that's what i go with so very helpfully the algorithm goes here's your choices and i'll just pick one of those so i decided that i was going to pick something completely different a completely different genre to that i've um that i've listened to before and i am halfway through a book that is just blowing my mind oh, it wow. is just blowing my mind so um i'm, I'm going to share all about it um on a blog post because it really has opened opened my eyes but oh, wow. just something like that yeah. in in switching something up you know opens a whole new world it it makes me think maybe i should start a book club where we just pick like really obscure genres of books just to try something so yeah yeah, that's what i was um that's what i was thinking well thinking about Um, that lisa wouldn't it be a good idea if you had a group of friends that had different tastes um so you know I, I could send you the books that I would read and you could send me the books yeah. that I would read. Same with you, Maxine, and yeah. music. Maybe you should send yeah. each other our f- favourite tracks and see what we think. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a really good idea because music's also one of them. You know, 
it's not until sometimes I'll hear some music. You know, if you're a, a, in a restaurant or something and, and, and there's background music, and I'll watch it and I think this song is beautiful. This song, I've never heard this before. And, and uh, you know, then track it down and it opens up you know a new artist and yeah. that i've never heard of before and and their work so um yeah uh, yeah i think that's a great idea um paul maybe we should maybe maybe we should do some sort of facebook group of like challenge ourselves yeah to just do something different listen yeah. to something different read something different just do something different yeah, yeah maybe uh deb's put um a, the beautiful rainbow from the crystal in the window where the sun's come it's it's I flooding know. the room with this gorgeous yeah. rainbow it's beautiful um and work uh less live more this is ben he's uh yeah um i'm going to try and work less live more yeah that's um mm. sometimes there just doesn't seem enough day left at the end of a, a working day does does it no. and and we i think all three of us are in a really fortunate position where we do have a lot of control over yeah. our work you know yeah. how when you yeah, know it can be quite work. flexible can't it yeah and and still i haven't got the balance right still no. i am you know um let's have a look we uh alan said recently watched a retired couple unable to holiday in other countries but decided decided to start cooking recipes from those countries they wanted to visit well that's brilliant. that's a brilliant one isn't it and also <clears throat> a new recipe uh, you know that that keeps me on my toes something a bit different so using yeah. ingredients that i've formed some sort of opinion on as in like oh no i don't like that and then oh i actually do so <laughs> carol i'm gonna wrap it up soon because we have talked for ages um this is a good one to end on actually carol i think we all need to set small achievable goals to make us feel good yeah well I believe it's my my, my personal uh, philosophy in life that when we feel good, then that's the starting point for everything else. So if we can feel good about ourselves, then that's the point that we make, you know, that we can. Can I just bring up something there, Lisa? It's funny you should say yeah. that because I watched a TED talk last night. I've not watched yeah. one for a while. And it was excellent. It was one of the top 25 talks. And I don't know, yeah. I'll send people the link if they want it. But yeah, yeah. It, it was basically saying people in life, they have this vision that going to school, going to college, university, getting a job, getting a house is what makes you happy. He was yeah. saying, we've got it the wrong way around. He said, be happy first and yeah. then do the other things and everything will seem more enjoyable. So I'm going to try and do that. It's true. That is true. I believe that. Honestly, if, if we start off from this place of, of feeling happy or even yeah. feeling good, good yeah. about ourselves, good, you know, if we, yeah, yeah, if we start off from this place, then everything else is just way more enjoyable. I'm glad yeah. I'm not the only one that thinks that. Sometimes I, I think, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um so, oh, Carol's just put, remember, Lisa, if you only have one ear, earphone on, otherwise you'll miss all the lovely bird yes. song and nature sounds. I must admit, where I'm walking, there's just a lot of traffic noise. That's all I've got around here. Oh. So, um, so anyway, I think that is it for this week. Oh, we've lost Maxine. She's just disappeared. She has. She'll be back. Oh, we've not bored oh. her. <laughs> oh yeah, she's like, I'm over this now. I'm moving on. We'll see it. We'll we'll see if she comes back. Just say that she's not made a change, has she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, I've changed my mind. I don't want to do this anymore. So come back, but, yeah, come back. We just wanted to say goodbye. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining, mm. for participating, for sharing. We really appreciate it and, and enjoy your input so much. So thank you for joining us. Is that Maxine coming back? No, I thought I had a, a anyway, anyway, we're gonna call it 
um a day here and we'll be back next week hopefully on a wednesday i don't think i'm working wednesday here's maxine she's back she's back hello where did you, where did you go <laughs> <laughs> I think the wind blew the internet out oh <laughs> you, well, well you're back just in time as we're saying goodbye and hopefully we'll be back next week hopefully on a wednesday and we haven't decided a topic so if anybody has any ideas of what we can talk about let us know drop us a message get in touch let us know so thank you and we'll see you next week bye. see ya bye, bye.